Hey folks, Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad, here to help you have a better boating experience. Today we're continuing on with our Mercury Rebuild, step by step here, going through it, making sure everything's done the way it's supposed to. We got all our bolts in here, we're going to torque these all down. We'll get them all snug first and then we'll check the torque rating on it. And then we will move on to getting the heads cleaned out. So this is the first one we cleaned up. We cleaned up both of them just to get a straight edge on it to make sure it wasn't warped. But if we look inside here, we have some crustiness in through here. And remember, we have our new O-rings and our new O-rings for around the outside that all have to seat in there nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take our screwdriver and we're going to just meticulously go through all this and scrape it all out. Then we'll take a piece of sand cloth and we'll put it in here and grind it out. So we're just going to keep going at this until we get it nice and clean. This is where it's nice to have a, some cheap tools laying around. I have this screwdriver. It's a Husky. I don't know where I got it from, garage sale or something. And I just ground it down so it fits perfectly inside here. And also when I grind it, it has nice sharp edges on it. So I can go through here and clean this up really nicely. You can see what comes out. A lot of dust. Notice I covered my engine block over here. So we're just gonna keep going at this little by little and get it nice and clean. So we're gonna look really closely at these O-rings. It's really not an O-ring. So there's one part that's tapered that goes down into the head. And then the upper part, you can see a groove in it, right? So that's gonna go in here in this way with the groove going up. And you're going to feel that it still has a little bit of a uh, rise out of it, so it's going to seal against the head. This one's a little bit different. It can go in either way. It doesn't have a, a specific um, groove on the top or bottom. It's actually equal. But, of course, we make sure we line up all of our bolt holes properly and push this down into place. And we just work it in the rest of the way all the way, get the other two in. And then we're ready to bolt this up. So you have to be really thorough to make sure that all of your O-rings line up nicely on this. We also cleaned out the water passageways. I put a P on it so I know it's the port side. Um, also cleaned out the surface area here where our thermostat is going to go in. So now this is ready to be installed. We want to be sure and make sure that all of our O-rings are seated properly in here. See, this corner looks like it's coming up a little bit. It does have little tabs on the side, so you can push it in and make sure it stays in place. Now I cleaned up all of the head bolts, made sure I wire wheeled them all out. Guys do it all the time. I've done it all the time without any issues. So we're gonna go ahead and install this head. So the top obviously is where the thermostat goes. I'm going to hold this in place because it does have two dowel pins, top and bottom. And I'm gonna watch this as I put it into place to make sure none of my O-rings kind of come out. They shouldn't because they kind of hold in there a little bit. I know guys that have put a little dab of silicone here and there haven't really had to do that. Sometimes you, you will. Went right on nicely. So we'll get all of our bolts in. It does show you a bolt pattern here of how to tighten this, how to torque this, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So you're starting from the middle and working out. I did put a little bit of oil on the ends of these threads. And if you remember, when we cleaned the block, we ran a tap through all of these threads. So I'm gonna get two. I'm gonna hold the head so that it's 
centered where it needs to be. And I'm going to get two just finger tight and then put the rest of the bolts in. And then we'll look up that torque specification. So engine torque specifications. Let's see where we have the head bolts. Next page. So interestingly enough, they call it a cylinder block cover. But we go down here to the 135 to 225, that's the 2.5. And it says right here, 30 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees. So we're going to go to 30 foot-pounds first on all of these. And then we're going to hold it here and go 90 degrees to get our next turn. So we got this torque down the way it needs to be as per the manufacturer's recommendations. Now we just have to finish cleaning up the other head. We'll get those O-rings on and get that one bolted on and torqued down properly. And then we'll get our exhaust plate. We'll work on that next in our next episode. So thanks for joining me today. We're going to continue on with this rebuild. Looking forward to getting closer and closer to that day when we're going to turn that key and see if it runs or see if it knocks. Remember it had a bad knock. Kind of find out, found out why. So we're doing all those little details that need to be done to prevent to have any other further issues with this motor and look forward to fire it up uh, pretty soon, maybe next couple weeks, depending on how ambitious I am to get it going. So please like, subscribe, send any comments that you have, and don't forget, a used outboard motor buying guide should be on Amazon soon, any day now. It's a $20 to get this. Should be on Amazon soon. It's $20. With that, if you send me an email with proof of purchase to KeithAtOutboardDad.com, I will give you a free consultation session to help you with a motor you're working on or maybe a boat you're looking to buy or a motor you're looking to buy for your boat so that you can have a better boating experience. By doing all the tests and things you can do, there's no guarantees in life, but the better, the more diligent we are with the tests and the things that we do, the better the experience will be. Hope to see you out on the water soon. Have a great day.